In this video, let us understand the other form of market, which is the oligopoly market. See, oligopoly market is a market where there are few sellers of a product and there are a large number of buyers. Right? See, let's take an example of car industry, that is automobile industry there are few sellers Maruti, Ford, Fiat, like Renault so there are few sellers in the market etc and there are large number of buyers so this so oligopoly it is a form of market in which there are few sellers of a commodity and a large number of buyers. Such sellers have a significant share of the market. See, Maruti has a significant share in the auto market, right? There is high degree of interdependence between each other. If Maruti comes out with some, you know, new technology, the Ford, Fiat and Renault have to come out with the same technology. If the Maruti brings one new model of car, the Ford, Fiat, Renault and other have to bring out the model of car. If the Maruti reduces the price of the car, the same has to be done by the other. If the government imp imposes any uh, on the in the auto industry, same which is the current example that is your BS3 V category vehicles are banned to manufacture right so it affect all the two-wheeler industry your uh, hero was affected your honda was affected so oligopoly is a market where few sellers and a large number of buyers and they are interdependent on each other so we can do the features of oligopoly number one is a few firms told you that there are few firms but large in size they have more dominance in the market second we have large number of buyers see there is large number of buyers of commodity the number is so large that no individual buyer can impact the market price of the product you and I individually cannot affect the price of the cars in the market so large number of buyers a few firms the third one is barri barriers see if you want to come up with a new firm in the automobile industry but there is, there is this is not impossible but it is very difficult so there are barrier to the entry or exit of the firms in the market the fourth we have is high degree of interdependence I told you that if the price of the car of Maruti change the other you know brands also have to alter the price if the Maruti comes up with a new technology, the other cars also will come up with the new technology. The same technology they have to because they have to be competitive enough with the within the market. So there is high degree of interdependence. The fifth we have was not possible to determine the demand curve. See, it is not possible to determine firm's demand curve under oligopoly because it is not possible to predict the change in the price. When a firm lowers its price, demand of its product may not increase because the rival firms may also lower the price. If the Ford reduces the price of one of its car, then it is not compulsory that its uh, demand will go up.
this because Maruti and Fiat may also reduce the price and people may shift the demand to these other brands. So it is not possible to predict the firm's demand curve. Sixth one we have is formation of cartels. In our legal also, the cartels can be formed by the firms. The cartel is the agreement that they will not sell their product within the given price uh, below the given price or above the given price if the price is fixed for rupees 5 lakh they will be selling the product at rupees 5 lakh only all the forms so this uh, these are the features of the oligopoly market i hope you have understood the oligopoly market completely please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us